Now I gotta put a 45 on that. Kinda hurt my finger on that. All right, guys, so just finished my warm up. That was what, five warm up sets? Hit 135 for eight, whatever, 225, 315, 365, 405. So that's five warm up sets before I'm even getting into my working sets. Now, this little contraption that you saw me struggling with at the beginning, it's just a different form of a squat, obviously. It's helping me lift more weight, it's helping me be able to take more load at once the resistant bands at the lowest point of my squat the weight is the heaviest at the highest point of my squat the weight is the uh, lightest because the resistant bands are pulling me back up but uh this is 455 so last week i had heavier resistant bands on i was hitting it for sets of three this is my progression i'm using lighter resistance bands and uh, i'm gonna hit sets of two last week i had 500 on the bar and this week i'm hoping to get up to about 475 um, today, right now, I'm at 455. So we'll see how this feels and then we'll bump it up from there. Let's get it. Whew. Three minute break. All right, I said a three minute break. Um, that's what I'm gonna take. Three to five minutes, uh, depending on how I feel. Now I'm not just sitting there, you know, on my phone, scrolling through Instagram or anything like that. I'm working on continuing to warm up my glutes, continuing to work, thinking about the next set, all right? I'm focused in on my next set all the time. Like I said, I'm gonna do a couple filler exercises, some glute bridges, single leg glute bridges, keep these glutes nice and warmed up. So, here we go. Three minute, 30 second break, but I didn't sit down. I, I mean, I was working. Not doing things, not doing things to really, you know, tire myself out, obviously. Uh, like I said, just stay warm throughout that three minutes, three and a half minutes. Uh, let's get this next set. We had technical difficulties and we missed. We missed 475 for two. Yeah. Um, thanks, Nate. Nah, not his fault. Camera had to cool down. It's not too hot in here, it feels good. Camera thinks it's too hot in here though. But yeah, just hit 475 for two. Now I'm working with 485 for two. Put the safety pins up this time. We'll see what happens. Woo, come on. Woo, come on, two. Two, let's go. Let's 
go. One more set. <gasps> Come on. I usually call in for backup. Dr. J, I use your help on loading this brother. So that way it don't fling up. Three, two, one, watch your lips. I was hoping we were helping, we we're redoing our kitchen. And uh, we have three refrigerators in our house. One downstairs, one in the garage, one in the kitchen. We're moving the one from downstairs and we had to take the doors off so the wrenches were sitting on top of the fridge. Put the dolly underneath, tip it back. I heard something sliding. Oh, shit. Boom! Right on top of my head, dude. It hurt so bad. Wrenches suck. I hate them. I'm scared of them now. So I just finished up with heavy squats. Like I said, got up to 485 for two sets. Probably shouldn't have done the second set. First set felt good with it, but I did that 455. And it felt kind of light. It felt really light. So I wanted to hit three heavy sets with 475 and then two sets with 485. Now I'm coming to deadlifts. Um, just warming it back up again. Shooting for 375, 405, just depending on how I feel. Just really trying to work on that hinge motion and everything. Get these glutes and hammies fired up. So, here we go. My shin's fucking hurting. Now just hitting some single leg work, 
Usually whenever you do a bilateral exercise, this happens to everybody. You overcompensate with one side. Maybe I'm pushing more with my right, more with my left. I push more with my left side. So I really wanna emphasize on working just my right leg so I don't have any imbalances or anything like that. So that's where the single leg exercises come into play. Hitting a little bit higher reps, sets of eight. I'm gonna go five sets of eight. That was a 65 pound kettlebell, holding in a goblet squat position or a goblet position. I'm gonna bump up the weight a little bit, start working with the dumbbell. All right guys, that concludes the workout. Max effort leg day, max effort upper body day, dynamic effort legs, dynamic effort upper body. That's how I split up my weeks. Today was max effort leg day, felt really good. Hit 485 for two sets of two with the bands assisting me. I'm shooting for 455 in about six weeks out of my 20 week program. I think I'm gonna be able to get it. Uh, just gotta kick, kick my macros up and start eating more because I'm definitely not eating enough, but uh, I'm definitely gonna kick it up a little bit within these next couple weeks. I know I didn't get you guys a video out last week. There's big things coming, guys, big things coming. We're still working, we're still out here grinding, we're still getting shit done. It feels really good. I hope I can produce more content for you guys in the future. But as of right now, like I said, big things are coming and I can't wait to bring that to you guys and show you what hard work and determination really, how it really pays off. But with that being said, like this video, subscribe, and leave a comment. Whether you liked it or not, leave a comment if you think you know you want a workout program from me, whatever you may want. Uh, just shoot me a message on Instagram, underscore hurt, underscore locker. Nate will put that in the video somewhere, I don't know where, um, and people do this all the time. So I, I felt, felt like every YouTuber does that, so I'm gonna do it there, there. I don't know, Nate, put it somewhere. All right, guys, we're out, peace.